We spoke to the law minister of Punjab who has said that the case against JUD chief Hafiz Sayed was withdrawn as they had no evidence to prove that Saeed plotted the 2611 attack. ये एप्लीकेशन हमने इसी दायर की है कि जो हमने अपील दायर की थी उसके ऊपर जब कल डिस्कशन हुई है सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तो हमें ये अंदाजा हुआ कि हमारी अपील जो है वो ऑन वीक फुटिंग है और अगर सुप्रीम कोर्ट का भी डिसीजन इस केस में हमारे खिलाफ आ गया तो इन फ्यूचर भी हमें अगर कोई ऑर्डर्स करने पड़े रिगार्डिंग दी टेंशन ऑफ हाफ सईद आर एनी अदर सच लाइक पर्सन तो फिर वो हमारे लिए एक रुकावट बन जाएगी तो इसलिए हमने मुनासिब समझा कि हम इसके ऊपर सुप्रीम कोर्ट का एक वर्डिक जो है वो अपने खिलाफ हासिल ना करें and that breaking news coming in for you there remember pakistan's provincial punjab government had withdrawn the plea against hafiz said and the pakistan supreme court on grounds that the federal government has not supplied the state with the promised evidence to back its appeal you just heard the law minister reinstating that there meanwhile there are also reports that the federal government is however trying to persuade the punjab government the punjab state government not to withdraw its appeal and lots of reaction coming in on the story reacting to those developments strategic affairs expert maruf raza has said that india should stop all dialogue with the civilian administration in Pakistan listen it but before we do that we'll listen in to what uh, the law minister of the of the Punjab province has said with regards to the case against the JUD chief uh, Hafiz Said being withdrawn as he put it they had no evidence to prove that Said plotted the 2611 attack Rahul clearly here provocation by Pakistan why this posturing though just ahead of that NAM summit well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it, Alistair? Uh, just as before, the two sides are going to at least set uh, the basic benchmark for the talks. Uh, there is this uh, U-turn that's come out of Pakistan. It's, uh, it's, it's something that's come straight out of bolt of the blue. Now, there are two ways of looking at this. Uh, you want to take it from a more benign perspective, perhaps uh, something that gives uh, more benefit of doubt to Pakistan. Then one could go ahead and say that this is uh, quite clearly only a case of administrative slot lapses or what you what have you but uh, that would be perhaps too simplistic to look at that uh, in just uh, from that one perspective the other side of the story however gets a little more complicated uh, quite clearly there is uh, a question of uh, a large number of uh, power centers in pakistan it's quite clear that zardari doesn't command much influence over those perhaps even in the punjab government remember the punjab government has gone up in appeal and then withdrawn the appeal uh, this signifies that perhaps there is some more, more, there is more to this than meets the eye as far as the politics of this is concerned. Perhaps this is internal politics of Pakistan playing out now, casting a shadow over the diplomacy side of things. Uh, secondly, of course, uh, there is talk uh, that there are many within the Pakistani establishment that don't favor what uh, Zardari is up to in Pakistan. They feel that perhaps he's selling out the cause. Uh, as far as the international community is concerned, remember Zardari came out just a few days back and admitted that Pakistan used terror as a state policy to try and leverage its own power in various uh, parts of uh, South Asia, including perhaps India. He didn't mention India, but he certainly implied that. And that uh, remark uh, stirred a hornet's nest in Pakistan. A large number of people came out and criticized him for uh, what uh, was uh, they termed was a soft line uh, and uh, for also towing Washington's line. And uh, all of this uh, is uh, now perhaps coming back to haunt the Zadari government that is desperately trying to steer Pakistan away from the path of terrorism and perhaps uh, towards a different direction. And this is the basic conundrum that faces New Delhi. What to do? Should we talk to Zardari, reward him perhaps for the cooperation that he seems to be showing on the ground, or then don't talk to Zardari and the government because quite clearly there are elements within his government that are not open to dialogue with India, or at least as far as uh, this entire process is concerned, are not uh, in any way placed uh, favorably or disposed favorably towards uh, resuming a dialogue or even halting terror from across the border, Alistair. To talk or not talk, the big question here. Thanks very much indeed for that perspective. Rahul Shivshankar with those uh, details there. And we're asking you right now, we'd like 
like you to write into us, SMS us or email us at our newsroom. The question we're asking you, is there any point in talking to Pakistan when Zardari refuses to cooperate with India on terror?